Hello, this is Bobby from Copel TV Repair. Today with a short video instruction for resolving a problem with Panasonic TCP55 UT50 having eight blinks uh, and refusing to start up with eight times blinking the power LED on the front of the TV. Uh, this is a video showing you what to do. Uh, to get to the problem where the problem shows and how to get uh, with this assembling instruction since a lot of people asked for that this is one of the TVs that actually don't have to be laid down uh, in order to be disassembled to get to the board that needs to go it's not a bad idea to lay it down if you have a, a table that is uh, good for laying it down uh, that might be easier for you to work but it's nice at least for us TV technicians not to have to do that uh, whenever you can because it takes a lot of space if you lay it down flat and we work with a lot of TVs and repair a lot of TVs so we need as much space as we can um, what you need to do is you need to take the back cover off in order to take the back cover off uh, I've already taken down the cover uh, for here so the first thing that you will need to do is don't take those four those are what holds uh, the stand together so the TV can be standing just remove the ones that are around here Note, notice they are metal and uh, we separate them whenever we take them off metal from plastic I, we don't really try to remember which goes where because uh, it's easy to figure out afterwards you can try and record but this is metal, 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 metal so whenever we have to be putting them down together uh, we will be using either this uh, metal screws apparently not this this is metal this is metal but they're just two uh, here are the plastic ones and we have another pile which is the metal screws metal is what will be as I said down here and everything on the side as you can see in a second will also be metal so uh, take out all the screws from here you gotta take out this screw and remove the Bluetooth module by just pressing that, pulling that, and pressing down. Let me see if you push or pull. Push. Pull it out, tap, and push down. This is something that you need to take out. Again, it's just pluggable. And this is a latch here. But I pulled it out. Yeah, you gotta pull it out and push down in order to take it out. We're gonna take this back together. Uh, everything that you see screws wise, you gotta take this cover that stays here in order to pull the back panel. Screws here, screws here, screws all around this area. Everything that you can remove, I didn't count them. Uh, the important thing is do not remove those four because they hold the stand piece together. And when you do, you can actually remove the back panel because uh, nothing holds it and you can get access to the TV the 8 blinks, I'm sure there are other videos uh, on YouTube that show that the 8 blinks are caused by the Z sustain board I believe Panasonic called it, calls it the SD what is it, it's got to be printed somewhere on the board itself SS board alright, somewhere here and the way to, to get to that board, in order to take that board out and be it repaired yourself or send it to us for repair, is uh, you will have to remove the main board. The main board is removed extremely easily. All you gotta do is take four screws out, but before you do that, you gotta disconnect all the cables that go to it. You press and pull up. This one you have to open. I use my fingernails. Can use something else but you got to be relatively careful people send us boards with uh, broken or missing tabs so you just turn it 90 degrees and then you hold it and nicely shake a little bit and pull here I believe this one is pulled uh, pressed and pulled towards you right this is pushable this one is not pushable it's pullable sideways you press and pull sideways this way this one is again you gotta push and pull towards you so the first and the third one are pretty, they're pretty easy to see from here those two again we have covers <laughs> we have all possible covers these two open from the back 90 degrees 
90 degrees, but notice this one's on the back, this one here was on the front. Here, here, uh, this is the other way around. You open it towards the cable, and then you nicely pull that one out, and that one, and I think there's nothing more left. And now, in order to get this whole assembly out and get access to that board, you will unscrew this. Out. And then the one below it. And then two more. One is here. No, one is down here, my bad. Second, sorry, and the last one is this one. Mm -hmm. With that, what you do is just take this whole assembly. Oh, did we miss something? Yep, my bad. Good thing. There's one more connector here. Also opening sideways. Let's see close. Gently pulling it out. And there you go, the whole main board assembly falls down. And this is the board that uh, we need to be we need you to be sending. If you're sending it to us, yeah, sorry, you're not looking sideways. If you're sending it to us, um, it will be wiser to remove not this part but that part again sideways here and you pull the cable and I can just move it back here and put it back in place All right. make sure whenever you get cable in you see where it is you see the tabs and the ears that are now below the yellow line those gotta go all the way in and you know it cannot go more in they actually fell there a little white tabs on the side that you can see that entered um, the, the holes so this closes and now it's ready uh, I'm sure to detach that you press and pull those are a little trickier if people haven't seen them before you Pull, press the two ends together, pull sideways. This can be a little tricky, you take it because of those holes, it's sometimes hard to pull out. It may be easier, it actually is easier uh, if you take the whole board out, if, if nothing is holding the board and those are open, you'll see in a second. So prepare, prepare. For whatever reason, uh, Panasonic has decided that this one's got to be different, even though it is the same thing. So this one opens uh, with a flap on the back. Oddly, it's, uh, it's really the exact same connector doing the exact same role as the other three, uh, but it didn't work. And the board itself, a few screws. Let me take that off. Sorry for the shaking image, but I'm not a professional operator. All right, shaking that off. That off. Taking that off. And taking that off. You can see by the discoloration, which oftentimes scares many people. Um, I hope you can see the discoloration of the of the board right up here, uh, there's a lot of heat being generated. And that heat, for whatever reason, and what I mean by that is, the heat alone may or may not be killing the board, it's more likely the thermal cycles. That is, the number of times during which it, it gets very hot and then cools off. It's like bending a metal. Uh, okay, here's the board, it's now freely shaking, it's open. And what I do is I just gently Push the cable and pull the board, not too hard, and they just start pulling out by themselves. The reason the reason it's not so easy is because of those holes here. Uh, they're actually 
small tabs that go into them and make it harder. Okay, that one thing. You basically just shake it nicely, not too hard. And pull it in and out. And eventually it will go out. Of course, uh, it's actually much easier if you do it with two hands. But one of mine is holding the camera. Alright, so I just don't want to do it. Pull it a little in. Pull it a little out. Still. Okay, one left. There you go. You know, you shouldn't be pulling hard by all means. That is the board that needs to be sent. Uh, if you can, if you want to do it on your own, you can actually replace that transistor here because that's the one that usually goes bad. Oh, we do have it at our website available. Sometimes when it goes bad, it damages the driver IC. That's the IC. So we sell those two together. But most of the times, all you gotta do is just replace that transistor. Some, we may experiment putting two of those. So they can take more current, but it will still be producing a lot of heat. I don't know how useful that will be. Uh, but that's it. If you want to send the board, uh, send the board. If you want to try and do it yourself, do it yourself. Uh, you saw how it all goes out of the TV. And assembly just goes backwards. It's, it's fairly easy. Just remember those holes up here are plastic. Whenever you put the back cover on, everything that is on the top, everything that is on the side is metal. So you're going to be using short metal screws. Um, and that's all. It, it really works. Thank you very much. Hope it helped.